am Father Aloysius Kasoma, a Catholic priest from Masaka Diocese in Uganda. My parish is called Nguebitakli Catholic Parish, which is located in, on the shores of Lake Victoria. I come from a family of 12 children, and I am the fourth from the top. We grew up farming, uh, practicing subsistence farming, that is growing the food we needed to eat in the family. I am here at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception to visit my friend, Father Paul, whom I know uh, for almost 35 years. We've been friends for a very, very long time, and I'm glad to be here to spend some time with him. I'm here also to raise funds for the projects we are working on back at home. We are building a boys' dormitory, and this boys' dormitory is about 60% complete. So we are looking for funds to be able to complete it. And the amount required is about 40,000 US dollars. I am also fundraising for two students whom we would like to send to Europe to, to undertake a master's degree in pharmaceutical engineering. These are very, very bright students, talented students, outstanding, and we would like them to be role models for their fellow students back at home. So we would like to send them for two years uh, to Germany uh, to study, and then after that, they would go back to Uganda to help their people. In rural Uganda, no matter what other profession you have, you must do a little farming on the side to have enough food to eat. Your life depends on it. In my first visit to the Diocese of Kansas City, St. Joseph, I spent time at the rural parish where Father Paul Turner served as pastor. After I shared about the people and the poverty in our area of Uganda, this small parish raised money for me to purchase a pickup truck to support our farming efforts back at home. It is important and good to help people in need, but it can seem overwhelming to consider all the nations and the people around the world who live without basic needs. How does God keep all of this straight? We are some, why are some privileged while the others are hungry? We believe that Christ is king of all nations, but he relies on each of us to help establish a kingdom of righteousness and peace. We have the abilities to end world hunger. We just need the will to do it. Lord, you came to govern the world with justice. Give our minds new ideas. Give us the will to help. Use our hearts and our hands. Please join me in our daily prayer. Open the eyes of my heart, O oh God, to see your son today. Open my ears, O oh God, to hear his holy word. Open my hands, O oh God, 
that through my humble deeds, others may experience your coming. Amen.